everybody, Raccoon Ninja here, and welcome back to Supreme Commander 2. Where did we leave off last time? Last time we unlocked a good portion of the map here, and we have a lot of enemies to take out. We do have a pretty sizable naval force, though, which is pretty darn good. You can see that we are bombarding them at the moment. And uh, just causing all kinds of havoc. Uh, they have a very sizable air force, though. So that's kind of a bummer. I don't, uh, I don't know what we want to do about that. I think I might do, I might do an air force of our own. Um, hmm, what do we want to do here? We can do fighters. Uh, fighters are just so bad, though. They're honestly just the worst. We don't have anything else that we can do, though. So, yeah, it kind of is what it is. Ooh, we can unlock the Atlantis, too. That's probably going to be the route that I want to take. They produce faster and they're cheaper. So, yeah, good times. Good times. What else we got here? All right, so I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's use our commander. We'll make an experimental and we will make one of our Atlantis. You don't actually build experimentals in the regular facilities. Um, these specifically, the Atlantis 2 and I think the Kraken as well, um, you build those just in the water because it's, uh, it's basically a building on its own. Um, yeah. The other experimentals, you do need experimental gantries and, uh, all that good stuff, so... Cool stuff. Let's actually take that down. I think we're just going to do the uh, the battleships here. Battleships, I think, are going to be our best option. And then we can grab our aircraft carrier here, and uh, we can queue up some fighters. Um, I think we want to do like a 3 to 1 ratio. That might be a good idea. We'll have three fighters. They're uh, fighter interceptors. So they'll um, they'll attack these planes that we have going up here, and then we do have actually you know we could probably just not do any ground. We're really gonna have the ground covered. So all right, we're gonna set this to guard. So these guys will follow the aircraft carrier, which is cool. They will just follow along, and it should be crafting up here. So if we take a look at this. We have one out of 25 filled inside of our aircraft carrier. And then what we can do down in the bottom here is we can unload all those all at once. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see. So StarCraft 2, but by not Blizzard. Yeah, a little bit. I actually have to just alt tab here real quick. So I forgot to bring up my stream chat. There we go. And there we go. Um, I don't know if StarCraft 2 really does it. There's, um, yeah, there's uh, the Navy aspect. I don't think there's a lot of Navy in StarCraft 2, if I remember correctly. But um, this one is, I think, out before StarCraft 2. When did StarCraft 2 come out? Eh, it might have been around the same time. This came out in about 2010. So. And uh, Supreme Commander 1 obviously came out before that. I think in 2007, if I remember correctly. This is more along lines, I'd say. Uh, like a Red Alert. I think Red Alert would be a, a better comparison. Alright, so let's unload these guys right here. Oh yeah, look at that. They just take off. I love it. I love it. Alright. Um, actually we don't get a whole lot of speed on this guy. These are these are producing pretty darn slow. Um, I guess the Atlantis 2 doesn't do that. I think the I thought it did. I thought it produced them a lot faster. There's um oh, maybe it's the experimental. Uh, air unit. There's like um, there's like an Avenger style mobile air fortress. <laughs> uh, I think that might be the one that produces them super fast. All right. Let's see. Um, 
Control S, Control 1, Control A, Control 2. There we go. So now you can just hit, uh, if you hit Control S, you can select all of your C units. A is all your air units. L is all your land units, but we don't have any land. And if you control 1, 2, 3, 4, um, you can assign that to a uh, just one of your hotkey buttons. It'll take a combined naval and air assault to handle those gunships. Three games they haven't played. SC2, SC2. <laughs> SC2 and SC2, really? Neither of those you played? And Real Alert. Oh, you're missing out, man. Um, StarCraft 2 wasn't all that great. Supreme Commander 2 I really enjoy. Um, and Red Alert is always a crowd favorite. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's unload these guys. We're going to move our Navy in. We do have to watch out a little bit for the Kraken. The Kraken is, I think, this one right here. I think he travels alone. It might be that one. Um, I thought the Kraken actually had a, a an emblem, but maybe not. All right. Why are you not producing any more of these? You should be producing an unlimited amount. You derp. Alright. Oh, yeah. They're not going to stand a chance. Good times. Warcraft 2 and 3. Yeah, Warcraft 2 was kind of an old favorite of mine, obviously. It came out in the 90s. Uh, in, the <laughs> in the prime of gaming. My brother and I played that quite a bit. But uh, Hello, Warcraft 3 never did it for me. The mighty Kraken no longer sleeps. Release the Kraken! There's the Kraken. See it has the little tendrils on the back? I don't think it's gonna last all that long. It is very formidable. It is an experimental, so you, you kinda have to understand that it, it is very, very difficult. Oh, we are not doing so good here. These are historic times, my friend. The beginning of the end of the Coalition. Oh no. Don't destroy my aircraft carrier, please. Please, I beg fna. This experimental is tough. It's taken a lot of damage. Stay on it. All right. Man, this thing is not doing so hot. Let's, uh... Let's kind of put that guy in the back, <laughs> shall we? Yeah. It's kind of going here. We'll uh, we got to take out this kraken. Uh, looks like it's it submerged, so we can't hit it. It's kind of a bummer. All right, there it goes. Now it's back. Oh, look at it go! Woo. My glorious kraken has faded into the abysmal sea. You chose college over Starcraft. <sighs> you know, priorities, I guess, but, uh, I don't know. I just don't know. Alright, I think we're actually good here. I think we're going to be able to beat this. Heh, <laughs> look at that little destroyer. It's so cute. Oh, it's so adorable. Let's see, can we get anything else? Looks like we actually got everything, so... Um, I see you. I'm um, basically just spending all of our points so that we get more bonus points for research. Because everybody loves bonus points. Alright, where is Gage? Where's Gage? Where's Gage? Gage usually kind of wanders around this area. Um, if you kill the, the commander... It goes nuclear, and then uh, it basically ends the game and destroys their base. A um, little bit of a, a bit of a spoiler alert on this: we do not get to kill Gage. He escapes, so that's a bummer. All right, let's unload again. I wish you could just auto unload. Actually, can I set a can I set a waypoint for this? Let's see. 
Um, let's see, guard assist, patrol, not really. I can't set, set a waypoint for that. That kind of bothers me. I wish you could. All right, where's Gage? There's Gage. There's her buddy. There he is. Oh, he is getting just wrecked. Oh, man. I have done a thousand dreadful Woo! things. As willingly as one would kill a fly. But nothing grieves me heartily indeed that I cannot do ten thousand more. Toodles. Toodles. We got megaliths. Lots of them. Take out those megaliths while we track Gage down. Oh no, Megalith, what else are we going to do? How are we going to survive the Megalith? Megaliths are actually super strong. They're probably one of my favorite experimentals in the game. They're uh they're not the biggest. Like they're you can um you can get like a ATST walker, you can get um uh, a big dinosaur with like laser beams on its head <laughs> and all that kind of stuff, but uh, these are just kind of the, the minor experimentals. But they are probably my favorite. The megaliths are in pieces. Good work, Maddox. Oh, look now at that navy. It's time for us to take That's so up sexy. Nuts. Coleman is working on the Cybran problem. And now I'm putting together a team to fix things at New Cathedral. Fix things, sir? That Illuminant colony is a breeding ground for extremists that are committing terrorist acts against the UEF. Not terrorists. Subdue the colony to send a strong message that this behavior will not be tolerated. Sir, my wife and son are there. <gasps> we'll get them out of oh, there. No. Away from those Illuminant. Sir, my wife is Illuminant. Dun, dun, what? dun! Why didn't we know this? <laughs> You're relieved of your command. We're recalling your ACU. I am unable to comply with that order. What do you think you're doing, son? <laughs> There's nowhere for you to hide. We will hunt you down. You can try. I guarantee not gonna happen. All right, so <laughs> one of the uh, uh, the kind of greenish one with the little forky thingy. That's the Illuminate. They're uh, kind of a tenuous relationship between all these races. Um, up before this, there was a bit of an alliance. Time's something you're quickly running out of. Coleman's not got so much one of the anymore. factories pumping oh, out man. some kind of fat boy experimentals, and they're headed your way. I believe the man's expecting a battle. You focus on those fat boys while I work on your factory. All right. So, what do we got here? Um, we got some broadswords. That's good. Uh, let me actually pause this and just kind of give you a look around the map. So we have an experimental factory right here where we can produce fat boys. These are fat boys. They're basically just mobile artillery. You can see that they're shooting out just massive amounts of artillery shells. Um, they have one over here and there's one up here. This is the enemy base that we have to eventually get into and destroy. Um, this one is actually somewhat kind of difficult. I even though this is one of the early missions, um I have lost this one on hard difficulty. Commander Maddox, so. that Neanderthal Rogers failed to sever our encrypted connection. So I have made available to you a number of new advanced technologies. I don't get it. Fan? Why are you helping me? A strong coalition of allies is better for business. That's a wonderful outlook. I'm not running a charity. New research options are available. All right. So um, we do have the ability to grab some of these mass deposits. Unfortunately, we're going to lose them very, very quickly, which is kind of a bummer. They're very hard to hold on to. All right. Let's queue that one up, and then after they destroy that, we'll recall them home. Um, yeah, so these mass deposits are super One duper hard to uh, I've almost got to it. keep, keep on the fat because boys. the fat boys they just keep producing and keep coming. It's it's basically like a horde mode. Um, why are you guys going way the hell over there? <laughs> oh, they're bombers. That's why. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like a horde mode. These are gonna continually produce until we actually take control of them. So we do want to get them as soon as possible. Yeah, you can see there's already a fat boy here that's uh, destroying our stuff. But um, move yeah. your units into position on the platform at Bravo. Clear the area of all enemies, and I'll start the awesome. activation sequence. 
Um, I didn't actually know that the broadswords could attack air units. That's kind of interesting. I forgot that. I thought they were. Uh, I thought they were ground only. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to. Oh, we can't even produce broadswords yet. Uh, where's the broadsword? There it is. Oh, the AC one thousand terror. I think we need to get a couple of those. Let's grab a couple of those. All right, we're gonna set that on Son, auto craft. It's over. There's no way you can win here. Well, maybe there's a way to lose more slowly. <laughs> yeah, you can see that we already lost that one mass deposit, and we lost our uh, our dude, unfortunately. Um, so I think what we're gonna have to do is produce some more of these engineers. Um, we should have an experimental air gantry now, so we can produce the uh, the terrors. There's not a lot of room on this platform, though, which is kind of the bummer. Um, guess we'll put one there. Why not? We'll throw it there. All right. And you can get some good mass from these, too. These fat boys have tons of mass stored in them. So you can use your engineers to go, uh, go collect those. All right. Um... We don't really honestly need all that much defense. All we really need is uh, the ability to make aircraft. That's really what's going to win this game for us. So let's actually do another air facility here. And, uh, yeah. Alright. So I think we have another fat boy coming soon. And they're probably going to get this one up and running any second now. So we do kind of have to be careful. Um... Let's get some uh, the AC-1000s um, queued up here. The AC-1000 is basically a broadsword. It's a it's a very 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 heavy damage land unit or land uh, assault unit. Super good. They they don't have a lot of health though, so they do need escorts. Um, let's actually just make one. They are pretty expensive. All right, so let's get that queued up. Oh man, we need more mass. Do we have a mass converter? I'm picking up incoming fat boys from a position in the northwest. We'll call it Charlie. You got any good news? How about the experimental factory at your base is online? Yay! It's fat boys will search and destroy all the way to Coleman's base. That'll do. All right. Let's get these bad boys taken out. All right. So if we can control this, actually, do we have an engineer? We do have an engineer. Um, I think we need to bring an engineer over here. I can't remember exactly if we do. Um, this fight is a little tough. So just kind of keep your eye on it. All right. Is that all? No, that's not. Not even close. All right, come on, we got the air unit. And I think that's it. I think that might be it All for right, this one. Connecting. Cool. Your first fat boy has been unleashed. You sure it's fat on our side? boy son? unleashed. Trust me. You got another fat boy coming down from Charlie position. Get control of that factory before it's too late. I'm on it. The experimental right. factory in your base is online. It's now sending fat boys to Coleman's base and firing on his units. That should brighten his day. Commander Maddox, consider research that improves the effectiveness of your air units. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. Um, we do need more mass though, so let's upgrade our mass first. And how is... Uh, we could probably stop that now. We do have a couple of extra Bravo, dudes he sent a here. Fat boy to Coleman. I hope he likes my housewarming gift. All right, and we took this one over, which is good. So we have fat boys being produced from both of these bases. Uh, we don't really have to worry about these. They're honestly going to get destroyed right around here. Um, doesn't really matter. It honestly doesn't affect the outcome of the battle at all. So yeah, good times. Um, these will kind of defend to themselves. Those fat boys. All right. So let's recall our units. Uh, do we have an AC-1000 yet? One of your fat don't. boys has been destroyed. 
Guys like me eat guys like you for lunch. Well, that explains right. the foot in your mouth. A second fat boy has been deployed. Second fat boy has been deployed. All right. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, this one is considerably harder to take. Um, we pretty much have to have like a full army to do it. Hmm. What do we want to do? Um, I guess we could upgrade our air units. Oh, there is a fat boy over here. There's two fat boys. Why are they sending two fat boys at us? Why? Why you gotta be like that? Okay, so well, that one was mostly damaged. From. And this one should go down pretty soon. These broadswords are pretty awesome at taking down fat boys. Is that all you got? Nuke, we've had our issues in the past, but Rogers has overstepped his authority. Soldiers are trained not to question orders. Oh, I right. guess I missed that day at school. Um, I'm actually going to pause these for a second. I want to get that in place. Okay. So now it's building our mass extractor there. Uh, and then hopefully we'll be able to get our second mass extractor up and running. That'll give us a little bit more resources. Unfortunately, with this one, we don't have a mass converter. Fat boys a week, like you. So that's kind of a bummer. Mass converter, you can convert energy into mass, and it really helps out on some of these maps. We got another fat boy out here. It really helps on these maps where you just don't have a lot of mass deposits that you can easily access. All right, so that one's down. Uh, looks like it was actually uh, attacking us, which is not good. So let's send one of our engineers on patrol mode. Um, that'll help us out just a little bit. If anything does get damaged in the area, it will automatically repair it. Uh, let's do another air, and let's do let's honestly do another air. They're gonna be super important. So, let's pause this again, see how we're doing over here. Actually, looks like we're looks like we're doing pretty good. Um I'm actually going to send this guy home. Uh we can reclaim these as well. Uh why don't I send these guys to go do that? Why would you want to die for the Illuminate? So we can reclaim these buildings uh, that are destroyed. We can get more mass out of that. All right. I think we're doing honestly pretty good. So we've got a we've got a big air force going, and luckily, like I said, these things can hit ground and air, so they are pretty much going to be our best option at this point. And then when we can get the AC one thousands, um, they're so expensive though. Hey, hey, hey. And uh, AC-1000s are uh, experimental, so you can see that they're built at the experimental gantry. The great majority of the upgrades that you have, Another one bites um, the dust. say, does not affect experimentals, does not affect experimentals. So the experimentals, you cannot upgrade with any of your research points. Just kind of kind of keep that in mind. All right. I don't know if we have enough to actually take out this platform. Hmm... We might, honestly. Hmm. All right. So we got an AC one thousand coming. Let's uh, let's unpause these. Uh, this one we actually need to put broadswords in and repeat. And we reclaimed those two buildings. Um, what are you doing? Why are you not moving? Weird. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess he uh, didn't want to patrol. That is up to him. Oops. That is not the one that we wanted. That one we want to continue moving. This one we want to send out. And then this guy, we could probably just kind of send him out here to do a suicide mission. He's probably not going to survive very long. Those, uh, oh, we have uh, another fat boy coming in. Those aircraft there, they they do a patrol and they are constantly respawning, so you can't really prevent them. Um, all we could really do is just leave our aircraft here. 
That's uh, it's probably a good option for us. Oh, I can build more. Oh yeah. Good times, good times. All right, what else we got here? So we have to defeat the commander. We have to research heavy shields, and we need to take over the Charlie position. So let's do let's do the heavy shields. Just grab those real quick here. All right, they're looking pretty good. I think we're uh, honestly almost ready for an assault. I think uh, I think we can. We can go in. Yeah. Look at this guy. This guy is considerably bigger. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it does a decent job. I'm just going to send this one in, just to kind of show you. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Well, I can make him all day. Ah, I love He's those. Bluffing. You can hear the fear in his voice. All right, we have a sizable enough force that we can go take over Charlie here. So let's go and do that. All right. Actually gonna take the, uh, the C-1000 and get him out of there just a little bit. So I don't want them to get destroyed before the party starts. All right. So I think we're just going to go right in. And we're going to patrol around so that they always are seeking out new targets to attack. All right. And here we go. I'm actually going to stop that one. Just short. So that our broadswords can take the brunt of it. Boom. Charlie base online. Oh yeah. Good times. So we should have this one now or no. We, uh, we didn't have control of it quite yet. But the next one we should have. Our AC-1000 is almost dead. <laughs> so, rip. Rip a Rooney. Ah, well, it's fine. It's fine. We got plenty where that came from. Man, these fighters are just pissing me off. Why are you guys... It does this weird thing that um, it... If you if you select troops across the map, it shows you where the center of that troop placement is, and if you try and move them, sometimes the mass will try and move to the center and get combined back together, and then move on to your targets. So that's why they were all kind of moving in formation away from where I was requesting they go. It's kind of a super annoying mechanic of this game, but it just kind of is what it is. Can they not attack these fighters? I thought we were we were shooting down the broadswords before, weren't we? Weird. Um. Well, I guess let's uh, let's get a couple wasps up in here. I thought the broadswords were attacking the uh, their broadswords, but I guess not. I guess we just had some uh, some wasps in there that were doing it for us. Huh. So I was correct. These are uh, land only. Very interesting. All right. So this should be the last one. And then I think we have air superiority over this. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we should be good. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait Charlie's a minute. under your control. It's fat boys will head directly at Coleman. That is not allowed. 
That is definitely not good. You should not be attacking me like that. Oh, bummer. Charlie has deployed a friendly fat boy that's headed directly at Coleman's base. Let's shove that thing down his throat. Whoa, they have a lot here. Huh. Holy cow, they have a lot. Okay, let's, we gotta defend here. I did not expect them to have that many fighters. Alright, so we got our air defense in here. Holy cow, that was a lot of fighters. <laughs> that was very unexpected. Alright. Oh, nope, 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 nope. These are... These need to be anti-air. These are all anti-air. Okay. That should clear them out pretty quickly. And we got our commander buildings, so he can build a lot faster than our engineers. Perfect. And who else do we have? Just you. <laughs> You're the only free engineer that we have. All right. Good. Good, good, good. You know what we should probably do, too, while we're at it? Uh, let's put some shields in here. I think we can unlock the shield. Yes. There we go. So let's get some shields in here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we'll put one there, why not? That'll work just fine. That'll work just fine. Okay, so now we have our base defended. Um, what else we have? We have 14 wasps. What I might do is cancel that. Cancel that. We'll do broadsword on repeat. Broadsword on repeat. Broadsword on repeat. And then wasp on repeat. We'll do it like that. Alright. So, let's get some uh, air superiority back in here. Oh, why are you guys not flying in formation? Ugh. All right. I'll retreat. Get repaired. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. All right, what else we can we get? Uh, the lifter we don't need, uh, bombs we don't need. Ooh. The air fortress is what I was talking about. That's the one where it makes uh, air units super fast and super cheap. Um, I think we might actually get that. Let's, uh, let's do a mega fortress. And let's pause all these, because if we get the mega fortress, we can just make unlimited amounts of uh, Aircraft. Um, I think we can do the broadswords with it. I'm fairly certain. We need 800 mass for it, though. That's a lot of mass. Alright. Let's send these guys on patrol just so that they can continue to pick up these damaged planes. 700, and there we go. Look at that guy getting crafted. Oh, so good. So good. So good. So good. All right. Um, I think I'm going to keep these paused. Honestly, the uh, the discount that you get with this guy is just so much better. We could probably produce twice as many planes in the same amount of time with the same amount of resources. So... Um, we apparently did not finish our shields. 
So let's uh, let's go back to our shielding. There, there, and there, and we'll put one there. That'll work. All right. And let's just get a line of defense going here. And we'll put a shield there too. Just because we can. Alright. So we gotta recall this guy. I am sick of him <laughs> being the only idle one. Hi, hi, hi. Alright. Let's put these guys on patrol. Just so that they're always looking out for uh, incoming. One of the problems that you run into is if there's a, uh, um, if you have all your fighters kind of in the back of your base, it um, the ones in the back won't necessarily aggro on something that is attacking your base unless it's within the aggro range. So you kind of want to have them on a patrol pattern. They have a much, much longer aggro range if you have them on patrol. So just kind of kind of be aware of that. Even though they're not moving much. They are patrolling. Alright, what do we got? 19 wasps. That's not bad, but we need more. I really wish there was a better fighter. I really do. There's let's see. Add personal shields. Those shields will provide additional defense for your area. Regen. Regen helps. We'll uh we'll get them four stars so they have more health and damage. Um, vision's good, and the rest are pretty useless. So the bomb cameras are for the bombers. What they'll do is, after you attack a target, it'll clear the fog of war from that target for a small amount of time. But since the bombers are pretty much awful, we're just going to skip those. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to set this thing. Look how fast this thing produces compared to, um, compared to our air factories. So, it is super good. Super, super good. Alright. So, I think we can go on the offensive now. Yeah. Commander under attack. Whoa. No. No. That is bad. Yeah. Commander dying it is game over. So. We definitely want to prevent that, if at all possible. All right. Oh man, we still are just suffering for mass. Ah, it's such a bummer. All right. Hopefully this will. Oh, they destroyed one. Rip. Come on, shield. There we go. So we got the shield. So we'll be able to defend ourselves just a little bit better. And let's uh let's honestly go. Let's go and take on this uh this area right here. I think that's a, a good next target. Let's see. Alright. Let's park it there. I'm gonna take this guy, park him a little bit behind. And I'm gonna unload over there. So then he'll shoot off everything that he has. And then we can kind of keep this in back for a support vehicle. But we don't want him to go in and do any of the heavy fighting. Because it's super expensive. <laughs> Alrighty then. Actually, we could probably keep our broadswords back and just have our wasps do. Do we, uh, do we go for the commander? I honestly think we go for the commander. Let's, let's go for broke. Honestly. I think we can get him. Oh, come on. Go that way. So now they're all in formation. All right, let's do this. Let's light this candle. I'm fairly certain this is a big enough force that we can just brute force our way in. 
He should be somewhere around the center. That's usually where they bunker down. Someone needs to put you down, dog. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Come on. Find him, find him, find him. Find him. There he is. So you can see that he has like a little little uh, Lego man <laughs> figure. All right, so we have to go through all of the shields that are around. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's going to go nuclear, too, and destroy all of my units. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate your sacrifice. Coleman was a patriot. He was one of the millions who were willing to put their lives on the line to fight people like you. Do you plan on taking them all on? Only ones that attack New Cathedral. That won't be the first colony we've attacked. And it won't be the last. Analog, get me an encrypted connection. I need to talk to my wife. In case it matters, she's illuminate. Hey man, I always knew. I'm on it. Encrypted connection established. Dom, what's happening? Everything's going to be okay. Do exactly as I say. I need you to take George and get as far away from New Cathedral as you can. Can you do that for me? Yes, I can do that. Wait, someone's here. Encrypted connection no. lost. Annika? Annika! I need to get to New Cathedral. What's the name of that base outside the city? Fort Burke. Contact someone there and tell them what's coming. Dun dun dun! Operation completed. All right, fantastic. Well, we don't have not, uh, enough time to start another mission. The next one is pretty long as well. Um, it's it's another one of those multi-phase ones. So I think we're going to end it off here. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like rating. Um, if you're new to the channel, follow and subscribe would be much appreciated. If you have any questions, comments, you want to see anything on the next uh, next episode or any other games on the channel, feel free to get the Discord link in the description and head on over there. I'd love to hear from all of you. But that is it. Take care and see you next time.